just because it's religion or politics doesn't mean we can't talk about exactly. it. Exactly. No, I, I, I've been going 100, <laughs> but I, that's, that's the rule. I was like, who made that rule? Right, right. Okay. So, uh, first of all, my name's Jeff. Jeff Nelson. Yeah. Nelson? Yes. Okay, so what what's your initial reaction? You said you're agnostic, but yeah, yeah so, so as far as about, what happens after this life, you would just say, what, I don't know? I don't or? Know. Now, some agnostics actually, it's like, I know, I don't know, and I don't care. Would oh. you say that's something that you care about, or? Well, I do care, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to find that. <laughs> you know, you find yeah. out whenever you make that, that crossing or whatever. Yeah. You know? Now, do you do you have a religious background yeah. growing up? Catholic. Catholic? Yeah, but I hate it. <laughs> I mean, oh, I, really? I, yeah, it's, it's a business, a freaking business, and they yeah. all these freaking freaks are in there still, uh, golden churches and all the... Yeah. People that, yeah, yeah. It's a display of wealth a lot of times. It's wealth and their power, but whoever is, uh, their followers are the, power. are the poorest, yeah. Yeah. So, so Nelson, um, would you say you believe in God or, you know, like... I believe in something. I believe in, I mean, I believe there's something. There, but I don't believe in the God that is just the like, church dictating is watching you. And, uh, <laughs> nah, I don't believe in that. No, I yeah. believe that it, I believe being a good human being and that, that encrypts every single religion. Yeah. That's if you're a good human being, it doesn't yeah. matter what religion you are. Yeah. Good, you know? So, but as far as like, if I said, do you believe there's a, a creator? So, so it's not necessarily of one religion, but just no, some, I mean, a creator, someone. See, a creator, a creator, like a creator as a being. You're saying, I don't know, I don't think so. I think there's a creation of. Okay. Yeah, I, 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 I don't <laughs> like, know. I could not say no. There's, I'm agnostic because I do believe there's something, but I cannot put my finger on exactly what it, it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. I don't think anybody can. They, when they did it, they made a business out of it. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, I think you're right. People take advantage of um, you know religion for their own purposes. I think so. Yeah. Every every religion. Yeah. yeah. One of the things. So for me as a Christian, yes. one of the things that d makes me so that I'm not so concerned about that mm. is that Jesus actually predicted. Many will come in my name and will, you know, claim that they're following me, but I don't even know them, you know, yeah, and they don't yeah. represent me. But and, there uh, many he said there will be also the same thing. Huh? Yeah, before, before, before Jesus came, there were all the uh, messiahs or whatever it was, yeah. the men of God, or yeah, yeah. So it's like the same in politics. They say like, oh, because be careful, we're gonna do take care of this, but be careful because there are these three different politicians in the future that might turn this you know around again yeah so it has happened in everything religion politics life history yeah everything, everything goes around one one thing i it's cold out so i'll uh one thing i i i think would be an an interesting perspective for you maybe is because you were saying that all the religions they basically just treat your calm you know treat others as you want to be treated and Things humanity, like that, like, humanity is, uh, to me, that's my religion. Being a good human being is, is, is yeah. the perfect religion. If you're a good human being, that's another view. Yeah. Christian, Catholic, I mean, Christian, uh, Muslim, or whatever. Yeah. Um, so what the Bible teaches is that we all have this sense of, um, we have a, a conscience. You have a moral conscience, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so that's, the Bible says that God gave us a conscience, mm -hmm. but we don't live up to it. So everybody, no matter what religion or non-religion, everyone has a conscience, and so all the religions do teach moral ethics and values. No, we, we, uh, then we go into God is uh, uh, omni, omnipresent, uh, presence. and if you go that way, then why grace a, a default feature of people? You know, they expecting it to be greater. So that is like as far as like um, everything. God created us, but yet we but yet we he fail. puts all this fail, all these little glitches yeah. in the in the program. In that is to make us being like whatever I was yeah. So what for? You make something if you can create. Something. There's actually an answer to that. Um, very, you know, like if I was to put it in a nutshell, mm -hmm. I would say God desires the greater good. So it's a good thing that people would follow him and do everything he says. But see, but what he's creating, why he's creating something faulty? Well, so so the greater good would be, so the, the good thing, the normal thing would be God just makes us like robots, right? And we follow him and just do, you know, because that's the way we're made. We're like animals. We, it's our instinct, right? But, yeah. but God gives us moral choices so that the greater good is that we'll actually choose him for ourselves yeah. rather than be forced into it like a robot. But, but, so, but you say that's in Christianity. How about Muslims that have the same belief? Yeah, so, <laughs> so, uh, so, and we all have the same problem. We don't choose God. We, we do go, choose to go against our moral conscience. You know, oh. even though we have a moral conscience, 
I doesn't mean we follow. To, I, to, I follow mine. I don't, I don't. I don't believe that I'm above anyone, nor below anyone. Yeah. Have you ever I told a lie, Nelson? Oh yeah, yeah. But but I'm not a guy that I was. I was I a lie. Maybe even more. Uh, everybody has to a lie. Yeah. You know? I'm gonna give you a little good person test. Okay. Yeah, all right. So you've told lies, so you would be a, a liar. A liar. Have you ever taken anything that didn't belong to you? I take you. So mm, yes. Doesn't matter the value. Yeah. So when yes. you did it, you knew it was wrong. Yeah. Well, it was. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 it was like it wasn't mine, but it was. It was there. I mean, oh, okay. Yeah. Right. And, but, and but I'm not pointing wrong, any, was, yeah, yeah. I'm not pointing any fingers because no, I did all these myself. No, no, I don't, yeah, but, uh, but but to help you see how like the Bible would it, it uses. Like the, you're familiar with the Ten Commandments, right? Oh, yeah. So it says, "Don't lie. You know, don't bear false witness. Don't steal." See, but I think with that, with that one, with one, only one command, one, you 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 take care of all ten. You love say, your neighbor. Respect, and... no respect. Respect oh, yeah. is stronger than love. Yeah. Because you can have respect uh, uh, without love, but yeah. you cannot have love without respect. So yeah. therefore, respect is number one. That's good. Yeah. But I think I mean it's kind of. I, yeah, people say that there we is pretty love much respect, know that. No, yeah. respect is one thing. Love is another thing. Respect yeah. is just, oh, okay, I don't love you. I respect respect him as a, yeah. And the Bible says we should because everyone's made in God's image. Well, so, I I so think why we wouldn't we respect we humans? We are all, and even not only humans, whoever, an animal, plants, whatever, we are all in this yeah. together. Yeah, so, I, I, get, I get that. So, so uh, just to let you know what the Bible's perspective is, I understand mm -hmm. you might not agree with me, mm -hmm. but it, but. And, I, and I'll even put myself in here. If I was, if I died today, mm. and I'm standing before God, and it's Judgment Day, mm. right? I would be a liar because mm -hmm. I've lied. Mm -hmm. I would be a thief because I've stolen in my life. Mm -hmm. I would be, um, uh, actually, I would even be a murderer because animals. Or? No, because Jesus said murder is wrong. But even if you hurt someone with your words, like you call someone a name, oh. in, a bad name, in anger. You're you're you're, you're at heart. You're oh, that, hurting that's, people, that's and kind of, and even yeah. um, adultery, which is out, you know, like sex outside of marriage. Yeah. He said, even if you look with lust, you're committing adultery in your heart. So I have to say, you know what? I'm guilty as charged. Well, yeah, but then, and then and then and then what? Well, so so the Bible, so the bad news, so that you know, like so you, then you, the, you repent, everything goes away. No, <laughs> no, but here's the thing, yeah. I. I um, I deserve to be punished. I don't deserve a reward for what wow. I've done. I should be punished no, for should, should, disobeying I don't see God. Punishment is, is, is a solution. Is it uh, you know to, to illustrate someone that's not right? I mean, yeah. I don't believe in, 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 in punishment in such a way as the Christians or the Catholics. Yeah. Or like, nah, well, here's nah, what nah, I here's nah. what I think about you, and I don't think I, I you know I don't know you that well, right. but I believe yeah. if someone fell down on right here, yeah. you would help them up. Yes. And I believe you would say. Well, Although don't look at me. I'm not that great of a person. I just did yeah. what I should do, exactly. right? Yeah. So the idea that we're good people that shouldn't be punished, the Bible actually says, well, but the good we do, we ought to do it anyway. So we don't deserve a reward for that, but exactly. for all the times that we disobey God, that's where the punishment comes no, in. No, I think the other way around. I, I train <laughs> dogs. I train, for example, dogs. You what? I train dogs, for example. Well, uh -huh. so I'm training I, my dog. Okay. As a matter of fact, I even have a... See, there's different ways of training. Oh, you, people, might, people, you might not agree with what well, I've... I, people, people think that they have to be, you know, physically some dog. Yeah. dog you only, maybe the only time is the dog is becoming aggressive, then you can get physical with the dog. But otherwise, they just positive reinforcement. And yeah. whatever that's wrong, he says it's wrong. And that's yeah. it, no punishment. Oh, okay, I see what you mean. No punishment, you just let him know it's wrong. Yeah. That's it. No punishment is archaic. Yeah. So, so the kind of punishment that I'm talking about is not like it's not the disciplinary punishment that a father has when he's teaching his children or you know like like what you're talking about trying trying to train dogs Gamora, so like <laughs> so it's it's actually it's actually what's called um it's justice it's it's if there's a crime committed there must be a punishment in order for you know it's a crime yes but a crime, right yeah so when we break for example the ten commandments Yes. Those are God's laws, and so if we break them, we're lawbreakers. Mm -hmm. And so, I'm not saying you have to agree with me, but no, no, the no, Bible no. says there will be punishment, no, I... and there's only two ways that punishment can be satisfied. One is that we would go to hell; it's not heaven. The other one is, though, and here's the good news: Jesus, God took a human form 
came to this earth and went on the cross and took our punishment in our place. So now for me, I'll tell you, I, I became a Christian. I was born again as a Christian in my late teens. Mm -hmm. I put my faith in Jesus because people helped me see, man, I'm a sinner. I, de I deserve to be punished. But Jesus took my punishment for me. I'm going to put my trust in him because I don't want to go to hell. Right? And, and so now I want to do good, not because I have to earn heaven, because Jesus already earned it for me. Now I want to do good because how can I thank him? What, I happened, can... to, what happened to the most people that are not Christian? <laughs> the most yeah, I, in the world. So when, when, I meet, <laughs> when I meet people that are not Christian, I, I mean, tell them about Jesus. Well, yeah, but because I mean, he's available for everybody. If you go to China, you're going to have a lot of people to talk to. I oh, mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're, you're right about that. And then you go, you're so right about that. Go to hell? To be, to be honest, as a Christian, you know, like, I know yeah. that God tells me I should go tell other people about Jesus, even people that have never heard about him before, right? Okay. I hope God has some kind of other plan, but it's kind of like you hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. I'm just going to be faithful and tell people about Jesus, right? Yeah, I mean, but I think sometimes so, it's better to relax and maybe in the name of Jesus and do things that you think Jesus will do. Yeah, that that's all part of it. That you're just talking about him and what he has done in the past, because that... Right. Well, uh, yeah, this is well here's one. here's the thing. If I if I as a Christian go out and I do good things because mm -hmm. I want people to know about Jesus, but I only do good things, I don't say anything. Mm -hmm. They're just going to think I'm a nice guy. Well, well, then you say, then you make sure you. Why are they going to ask you? Why are you doing well, right. you know, Jesus? But right. without like pushing it too much, because then they go like, oh, no. I mean, well, sorry, like wow. <laughs> yeah. For for me, it's like if if you saw, and I'm pretty sure I know how you'd answer this. If you saw a person walking towards the edge of a cliff mm -hmm. and he was blindfolded. Mm -hmm. The, the loving thing, the kind thing, and the best thing you could do would be to give him the bad news that he's about to go over a cliff, right? right? Mm -hmm. So for me as a Christian, it's like, man, people are going, you know, into eternity without knowing Christ. He could save them from, from this, from no, this, this fall. It. Save yourself. Don't worry about the rest. <laughs> Let him be free. If you believe in that, that's in you, and uh -huh. it's great. And I respect it. Yeah. The way everybody respects, it's good. If you see somebody in need that has a horrible life and cannot get out, then you get to yeah. tell them about them. But I, if not respect whoever, whatever they believe, they're not going to go to hell. Well, yeah, so, so if I truly believe that, even if it's not true, if I truly believe that someone would go to hell without knowing Christ, mm -hmm. Man, the best thing I can do is tell them tell about them. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. But, you know? but that's what you believe. But then you have to respect what others believe because that's in you. That's the main. Oh yeah. Thing. And I, I try because, because it's the other person. Is like, maybe you tell them like, okay, thank you. Yeah. That's it. You know. Yeah. If you watch those videos, you'll see like when I meet people from other countries and I have right. other beliefs. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. No. I know. I know. I mean, people. What have... What can I do? I can't convince them. It's right. you know. You don't have but, to. Uh, but, but I do you, want you, them to know about Jesus. You so. want them to do that. It's good. It's normal. And yeah. That what you is in your heart, and that's great. Right. Because you do it in a good, in a good, because you feel it's good, it's positive, and that, yeah. and that I'm all for it. Yeah. But you know, but also respecting everybody's whatever they believe. Yeah. As long that's as they're cool. good, good people, good people, what, that's a matter. I mean, honestly, it doesn't matter. Yeah.